Okay, so the um, first thing that uh, we wanted to give you an update on was our, our brand new um, disk uh, benchmark uh, for the Mac OS. This is a, our uh, highly rated uh, benchmark that we have on the uh, Windows uh, platform, um, and it's now available uh, for the Mac OS, uh, and it's now on the Mac OS App Store. So we've also we made some upgrades to this. You can do uh, continuous or uh, snapshot benchmarks and dial in the uh, type of uh, uh, workflow that you're looking for and, and benchmark your I.O. that way. Um, and we encourage you to download that for free right now. As I said, it's on the App Store or you can go to uh, Addo.com. Uh, we're also really excited about Addo 360. Uh, this is our, our brand new software uh, for Mac OS, uh, Windows, and Linux. It's a tuning, uh, monitoring, and uh, analytics application. Um, and we have a, a, a video, a world premiere video that we're gonna show you right now. Welcome to the introduction of Addo's latest performance utility, the Addo 360. Here we can see all of the tools used for various network monitoring and analysis of a Mac system. These tools all require a certain level of understanding and deciphering. We decided to bring our understanding of storage networking and combine all of the tools and techniques our engineering team uses every day and consolidate them into a simple, easy to use management interface. With Addo 360, we can view all of this data and more in an easy to read single pane of glass GUI. Addo 360 is an all purpose tool for Ethernet network optimization that offers performance tuning, monitoring, and diagnostic tools to deliver the best performing and most efficient storage network. It has been designed for the creative professional who wants to unlock the true potential of Addo FastFrame and Thunderlink adapters. Here we can see the main system information tab of Addo 360. This displays information such as the operating system, the CPU type, if your firewall is enabled or disabled, hyper-threading. You can also adjust the receive and send buffer max size, turn SMB signing on or off directly from the system information tab. And we can also see IPv4 and IPv6 routing tables. Next here on the NIC information tab, we can see at the top right you'd select which NIC you'd like information on. Uh, we can see the two embedded Mac NICs in there as well as the Addo Thunderlink NS3252, uh, both channels are in there. Um, so we've selected the EN13, which is an Addo channel, which will display information such as the link status, the model number, if it's a Thunderbolt adapter or not, PCIe generation width, PCIe location, IP addresses, driver versions, firmware versions. Uh, you can also adjust the MTU size. And there are a few features that can be toggled on and off, such as LRO, TSO, and flow control. Next, on the NIC statistics page, we can see stats on the receive and transfer side. I'm running I.O. right now. Uh, the refresh rate is set at one second, so we can see uh, packets being received and transferred on either side. This is a great way to get a good view of the Ethernet traffic. The network tab shows a table of ports that are currently open on your network. Within this table, we can adjust which columns of information we want to see. Right now, there's protocol, process ID, process name, stream, receive, and transfer bytes. Uh, but there's a lot of other information that can be loaded in here, such as uh, listen, connect attempts, connect successes, send buffer size, send buffer use, uh, receive buffer use, and many more. Under the Tuning Profiles tab, we can see there are three profiles currently available. These profiles allow you to optimize your network based on your workload with a single click of a button. Currently available, we have a default, high throughput, and low latency profile. Our goal is to develop more of these profiles to suit specific workloads. And lastly, we have the Diagnostics tab. This tab will show any issues that Addo360 has seen within your network. For example, we can see a message in here about SMB signing being enabled. SMB signing can have a negative impact on performance, which is why this message shows up here. You can also run the diagnostics tool in the help menu above and send the logs over to our technical support staff at Addo Technology for further assistance. Addo360 is continually being developed, so check Addo.com for the latest version. Okay, thanks for that. Sorry about the glitches there. 
Um, so that's our uh, brand new um, software. We're really excited about it. I've been, um, we've been developing it for a little over um, uh, two years now. And uh, it's, we truly believe that it's gonna take our fast frame uh, product line to the next level. Um, so I just wanna highlight a few of the things that you saw there. Um, we have uh, um, tuning profiles. So um, you saw three on there, but we've already added a few more. Um, depending on the operating system, you'll see a, a, any number there. Um, we have a new release coming in June um, that'll have additional profiles. Um, the idea behind those is you don't have to be a, a network engineer uh, to get the most out of our, our, our Ethernet product. Um, so spend less time uh, setting up and more time you know, working on projects you love and uh, generating revenue. Um, so that's, that's the idea behind tuning profiles. You also saw um, monitoring. So there was uh, vital information that we collected from several different areas like the operating system and our NIC and we put them in one uh, convenient uh, area that's easy, easy to use. Uh, and, and our guys have picked the, the right data that's the most relevant to optimizing and uh, maintaining that, that high throughput connection to storage. Um, so that's all about saving time um, and getting to work. On the analytics side, which is uh, one of the more um, intriguing aspects of 360, we built in a, a warning service. That it acts kind of like a, a check engine light um, for your car. Uh, the, what we, if we're, we notice something that's going on that would negatively affect performance, um, you'll, get, you'll get a warning message. So there are hundreds of data points that, that were being monitored are, that are being monitored there, and it lets you troubleshoot um, and connect uh, troubleshoot connectivity issues with accuracy, and you'll get instant advice from from our engineers on how to improve your performance. So again, saving time uh, and increasing your ROI. Um, so with all of that said, we really think that uh, Atto 360 is going to upgrade and, and take our our Ethernet um, line to the to the next level. Um, we also think FastFrame NIC takes the new Mac Pro um, to the next level. So we were really excited to see the new Mac Pro come in this year and the expandability that's something we've all been waiting for. Um, I have a couple of pictures here. It's been in our lab for a while now. Um, we have a couple hundred gig uh, FastFrame NICs installed in there. Um, and what we're seeing is, you know, versus the old Mac Pro platform, we can double the performance now. Um, it's something that we're going, we're going, we're hitting speeds that were unheard of with Apple systems in the past. Um, and so we're no longer limited to any, uh, any bus connectivity or anything like that. Um, and we can really open it up. So we're, we're very excited. Uh, it's not just me that's excited. Um, I'm also, I'm going to hand it off uh, to my colleague, uh, Megan Zemanski, who's going to go over um, some of her stuff. If I can find you, Megan. There we go. Hi, everybody. I'm glad everybody could make it today. Um, Tom's right. The new Mac Pro is exciting, but it's not only exciting because it gives us an opportunity to expand the capabilities of our PCIe cards, but it also has multiple Thunderbolt 3 ports, which are going to be perfect for an Atto Thunderlink adapter. Our Thunderlink adapters are going to be your go-to solution for non-Mac Pro platforms, too, where you still need high performance connectivity that has to come externally via Thunderbolt 3. So this would include all of your other Apple favorites like the iMac Pro, the iMac, the MacBook Pro, and the Mac Mini. When we look at our Thunderbolt adapters, we have the widest portfolio available. So we have fiber channels, SAS, and Ethernet. And every time we develop one of these products, we have four key points that we focus on. It's interoperability, it's performance, it's designed for content creators like you, and support, which is now gonna include features like Atto 360 for our newest Thunderbolt 3 to 25 gig and 10 gig models. One of the other things that we always pride ourselves on is we have a portfolio full of complementary products. So for example, to go along with our fiber channel Thunderlink, we also have our fiber channel HBAs uh, that now have a real opportunity to assist those who need the highest performance in a Mac environment with that new Mac Pro. So now we're gonna hit another quick video that's gonna dive a little bit into that topic uh, and let you guys see one of the potential demos we would have had at NAB. Media and entertainment, storage and bandwidth requirements are increasing faster than ever, and Addo has solutions to meet these demands. The launch of the new Apple Mac Pro now adds performance connectivity to networks and storage with the reintroduction of PCIe slots for external connectivity. 
The new Mac Pros provide up to eight PCIe slots for external connectivity, where the X8 slots are capable of 8,000 megabytes per second, and X16 slots are capable of 16,000 megabytes per second. In this demonstration, we have installed two Addo 32 gigabit quad HBAs in PCIe slots three and five. Note, both PCIe slots are X16, providing maximum throughput. We will use Addo's specialized multi-path director driver to aggregate bandwidth across both HBAs for ultimate performance. We have attached this Mac Pro to a NetApp E-Series all-flash array with eight 32 gig fiber channel connections. There are six volumes presented to the Mac Pro with a RAID 0 volume configured on the Mac. Multipath Director is configured for automatic failover and pressure load balancing. In this demonstration, we are using Addo's Disk Benchmark tool to show performance. We can see a consistent throughput of around 16,000 megabytes per second. This is fast enough to achieve the required throughput for environments working with 8K, 4K, and HDR editing and finishing. Mac OS also features built-in XSAN software that can be implemented with Addo's Fiber Channel products to create a high-performance SAN with failover and load balancing capabilities. Thank you for joining us at Addo at Virtual NEB. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And when we talk about Addo's entire Fiber Channel portfolio, we have 8 gig, 16 gig and 32 gig fiber channel adapters. And our fiber channel cards, this is exciting, were actually shown and fiber channel technology was mentioned, mentioned on the stage at Apple's WWDC last year, which is when obviously they launched the new Mac Pro. When we talk about fiber channel technology, if users are looking for a protocol which will provide consistency and low latency, they often do turn to fiber channel. It still is going to be a key technology for those that are growing, existing, and developing new networks, uh, for those especially in content creation and need and work with requirements like things like high bit rates. And one of Fiber Channel's signature features is it provides deterministic throughput and is exceptionally reliable. So what this means is actions like playback that may be very critical for you in getting your work done are only going to grow as HD and 2K transition into 4K and 8K. Uh, and if you do this with Fiber Channel, it's going to be supported by a deterministic backbone. So it means that your playback is going to be more reliable and you can have that guaranteed delivery. So from our Fiber Channel products to our Ethernet cards, we just wanted to give you guys today a little bit of a taste of what you would have seen if we were all at the NAB booth right now. Uh, and obviously our demos always feature some of our partners who are really important to us in building out the latest workflow solutions. So I encourage you guys all at some point to visit addo.com to see our solution center that has many of our latest solutions. So this includes additional products besides the ones that we talked about today, such as our intelligent bridge and our express SAS adapters, which are going to also be a good fit for the new Mac Pro. Uh, and they're great for key activities like backups and archiving. And as always, we're continuing to build out our product certification. So we have a new one coming out soon with FastFrame 3 cards and our Thunderlink adapters with Avid. So definitely we'll be sharing information on that soon and stay tuned for more information. And with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Tom Johnson to start diving through some of those questions that you guys have been putting into the chat and make sure you keep on doing that so we can have a good conversation here about some of the things you guys are wondering about. Awesome. Thanks, Megan. All right. So let me bring in, I am going to unmute um, the participants here. Um, and we have some questions. Perfect. All right. I think everybody unmuted themselves, so that's good. All right. The first question that I have here, um, any news on Addo branded fiber channel switches? Uh, the switching infrastructure is the biggest cost roadblock for customers today. I think, Megan, do you want to take that one? Sure, I can take that one. Uh, Addo is absolutely at bringing switches on board as part of our fiber channel portfolio. I would say stay tuned for more information as we get into Q2. We're definitely looking at it and we're hoping to have some information to share here in the next couple of weeks so we can really provide a full fiber channel workflow, whether it's switches, the HBAs, the Thunderlinks. We want to be able to connect you guys in the way you need to 
Um, so stay tuned for details in Q2. Hopefully we'll have something exciting to share with you. Thanks, Megan. Uh, this one, I'm going to give to Ken. Uh, me and him have both been working a lot on this lately. So, But I, uh, any news on an Addo RDMA Rocky driver for the Mac OS? Uh, sure, Tom. I guess I'll take that one. So we're currently investigating things that we could possibly do in the Mac OS um, for RDMA. Um, initially, we're starting to look at ICER support. So that's iSCSI extensions for RDMA. Um, full support for RDMA will require some additional support from Apple and their Ethernet infrastructure. So we're working with their engineers now, um, but there's nothing I can really share at this time. Good answer. Yeah, that's something that me and Ken have been, been both um, really um, behind. So like you said, uh, ICER possibility. Um, and uh, so if that, and if I will say, um, you know, feel free to reach out to me and talk to, or Ken, and tell us about your interest level in that, because the more that I can get, uh, the, the more um, uh, momentum I can get behind that will, will be the better for us getting it out uh, as soon as possible. Yeah, just, just to add a, add a little bit to that, Tom, I think, um, I think you'll want to have um, our customers and our users just reach out to your salesperson or your sales rep or, you know, call Addo Direct and, and hit the, uh, the sales extension, and they'll be able to put you in touch with myself or Tom or be able to take the request themselves. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so I have another one. Um, what's uh, so the the tuning profiles? This is for Ken. Uh, what what's happening when you hit those buttons? What's not happening is the better question. <laughs> um, we're, we're doing a lot of things underneath the uh, cup. So we are changing global parameters on the Mac OS system itself. Um, we're looking at TCP based um, parameters and changing those. We may also be changing driver. Um, buffers and driver and VRAM parameters to optimize the customer system um, for their current workflow. And what's nice about those tuning profiles is a customer can select a tuning profile, run a benchmark or run their application and see how it behaves, and then select another tuning profile in Addo 360 and run another benchmark, run their application and see what works best for them and their particular workflow and their environment. Perfect. All right, so uh, some more here. Um, what about uh, any remark on the compatibility to other vendors when I run Addo 360? So I can take this one. Um, so when you run Addo 360, if you saw in that video, the, the onboard NICs are shown up in that uh, application. Um, but I would say that probably 80% of the tool is, is non-functional. So to really get the benefit of Addo 360, you need to run an Addo FastFrame 3 or uh, some of the Thunderlink devices that use that FastFrame 3 driver. Um, but um, you can see some system updates. There are some system diagnostics. So, you know, it can help, it can help you get a feel um, uh, for what it would be like uh, to uh, fully use it with Addo. But you can get download it today. It's a free download right now on our site. Um, so I have another one here. Um, can you make any comments about working with mixed Ethernet and fiber channel storage? Does uh, Ken or uh, Jeff want to take that? Um, I, I guess I can take it. Um, so we have lots of customers that are currently using um, fiber channel and Ethernet storage. Um, they're using them on Windows machines, um, Linux servers, Linux workstations, um, even in Mac OS X. Um, I think for, for, the, uh, for most customers, um, when they're looking at high resolution video uncompressed to uh, 4K, 8K, 16K and beyond, um, Fiber Channel is a fantastic solution because it is deterministic. Um, whereas Ethernet, a, a lot of our customers are using that for proxy editing, um, compressed editing, or lots and lots of users attached. Um, we are making lots of strides to uh, increase performance and be able to determine 
um, latencies so we can support the higher resolutions like 2K, 4K, 8K, and 16K um, using Addo 360 and the optimization of our drivers. Perfect. All right. Um, so let's see. There's a question. Um, does do I need to install Addo 360 on each client? Can you want to take that? Sure. Um, currently, the the way Addo 360 is designed is it is a client based application. Um, so you will need to install Addo 360 on each of your workstations. Um, this is the initial thought for the application. Um, we do have a future roadmap that may look at incorporating a um, service-based application where you would run a client server and, and manage from a single server, but that's, that's futures. We wanted to get Addo 360 out to our customers now um, from a single workstation because we have customers that will run Media Composer or, you know, um, Resolve, and, and, and those are typically different workstations for each. So the quickest way to market and the most, uh, the most performance for our customers is going to be on that um, workstation-based application. It was the quickest to get to market. Um, while, while we're here, I, I just want to mention one thing that is very, very unique about Addo's tuning profiles. Um, in different operating systems, um, Mac OS X, Linux, and Windows, a lot of times when you reboot, those system settings get reverted to um, what they were before you changed them. So in Linux, there's something called syscontrol that isn't persistent between boots. Um, it's also in Mac OS X, there's something similar in Windows. Um, one of the key benefits of Addo 360 and our Fast Frame 3 products along with Thunderlink is that we can have those settings and they persist between reboots. So once a customer has a system configured for excellent performance, um, they won't need to make any more changes unless they change their application or their storage or their workflow. So that is a huge benefit that I wanted to mention. Thanks, Ken. Uh, so it looks like I got one for Megan here. Do we have any plans to do a 50 or 100 gig Thunderlink? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. We get that a lot because as people look at the Ethernet, how it scales, they look at 25, 50, 100, and they go, okay, Addo, you have a 25 gig Thunderbolt 3 product, what's next? Um, so right now we don't have plans to do 50 and 100, and there's a reason for that. If we look at the Thunderbolt 3 pipeline, uh, Thunderbolt 3 is 2750 megabytes per second that you're able to get, um, which translates to about 22 gig. So in reality, we have a 25 gig product that actually best fits the Thunderbolt 3 pipeline. So if you actually were to increase that to a higher speed, like a 50 or 100, you may see that the performance may not be as good as with 25 gigs. We think we already have the solution that best fits what, uh, what the current Ethernet markets are looking for and will be able to get the best performance. Sounds good, sounds good. Um, so there's another question, this is for Ken here. Um, does this take up a lot of system resources? How, so the Addo 360, how, how big is the software? Does it, does it suck up a lot of memory, that kind of thing? Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a really good question. I think, um, so the application size really isn't um, of much importance with the size of, you know, your, your local drives today. Um, what's really important is the use of resources on a system. Um, you know, memory and CPU utilization. And one of the key factors of developing Addo 360 with our engineers and our test group is we focused on the performance impact for both CPU and memory. So we're not affecting those applications that we're trying to optimize um, with Ethernet storage. So we have tested this. Um, it's a very minimal impact. Um, and if the customer did think that Addo 360 wasn't impacting their performance, um, it's very simple to uninstall 360 um, to run a quick test. But this was very, very thoroughly vetted in our labs, and um, we haven't seen a performance impact. Thanks, Ken. Appreciate that. All right. Um, 
So I have another one here. Um, uh, so long range connectivity for fiber channel. Um, do we have any options for that? Um, do you want to take that, Ken? Sure. Um, we do have long range connectivity options. They're available via our price list. So we do support long range optics on um, FC. And using Addo Celerity um, fiber channel HBAs, um, we do have best in class uh, buffer to buffer credits. And what that means to the end user is they can get the most performance for the most distance. So we actually, um, we have quite a um, um, very good solution for the customers when it comes to distance and performance, because usually the further you go, um, if the optics support it, um, you do see some performance degradation. Um, that's not the case with Celerity uh, fiber channel HBAs. Sounds good. All right, um, so where can we get a list of products that we're interoperable with? You want to take that, Ken, or? I, yeah, I can sure. take it. Go ahead, Megan. Megan. <laughs> I can take it. So if you go on our website, if you go to addo.com, up at the top, there's a support tab. Um, beneath that, it'll go to an interoperability portion. We have a grid. It's very easy to use. You can filter it by Addo product, by the um, what the solution you're looking for is, whether it be storage or host or operating system, as well as our partners. And you'll be able to very easily see everything that we've done, interoperability testing with, certifications with. Um, and you can be there a while because there's a lot of them. So feel free to check that out when you have time. Great. Thanks, Megan. All right, let me just make sure I got through all the questions here. And if anybody has any more, feel free to pop in on the chat. Hey, t hey Tom, just, just want to add one thing just to make it clear to everyone. Um, since 360 is a, a very new product, I want to make it very, very clear that the tuning profiles and the application itself are, are currently available on our website right now in shipping. Um, and it currently supports Linux, Windows, and OS X. So we have many customers that are using this in Linux and Windows also with our faster and three adapter. Yeah, and that's a good point. Uh, with, and it's different too. You know, we're showing you the Mac yeah. because, you know, it's logged into the lab and that's where I, we've been doing most of our live demos, but the, the Linux version is going to look, look different. There are more pro profiles. Windows looks different. So they're all, you know, we support all three, but it's, it's uh, tailored to the operating system because you know, that's where, and, and when you see the June update, that's one thing I'm most excited about is we're going to have some profiles there that are specific to, um, we're going to start even getting into deeper with the operating systems and what we can do with the type of uh, NFS, SMB, that type of mount. Um, and we're going to keep rolling with updates um, uh, over the years. So we're really uh, excited about it. Me and Ken uh, have been working hand in hand on that thing for a really long time. And that we couldn't be more excited about it. Absolutely. All right. Well, that looks like that's all the questions. Um, so, you know, we're really, um, you know, we really appreciate you guys coming. Like I said, we, you know, we wish we would have been in, in Vegas this year, but, um, you know, we're happy that we can meet with you guys all virtually. Um, you can, you'll be able to watch this. It's been recording. Um, so the slides, the the uh, um, video, all that stuff. I see Tom's question. Yep. Um, we, I will uh, absolutely share these slides with you, um, and the recording will be online. Um, and uh, again, we really appreciate you know you guys uh, um, listening in, and uh, thank you all for your time.